This is a presentation about Stage 6 Japanese Beginners, which is a two-unit course. The limits of my language mean the limits of my world. This is a famous quote from Ludwig Wittgenstein, the Austrian-British philosopher. Why not broaden the horizons of your world by jumping into the wonderful world of learning Japanese? Why learn a language? It enables you to communicate in a global community. Less than 6% of the world's population speak English as their first language. Although English is widely spoken, over 80% of the world population does not speak it. We live in the global economy and it is also said that we live in the Asian century. Japan remains one of Australia's most important trading partners with many large and small companies and government organisations interacting on a daily basis. By learning another language, you can see the world through new eyes. While learning Japanese, you'll also learn about Japanese culture, which enables you to reflect on your own culture and values. Learning another language can also help you to understand the structure of the English language. Of course, there are travel opportunities. You can use Japan, Japanese if you travel to Japan for work or study, or you could potentially use it anywhere in the world. Having another language can give you an edge on your resume. If you have another language on your resume, it can give you an advantage over, mono, over a monolingual English speaker. If an employer has a choice between you and another candidate who only speaks English, you may be seen as the preferred candidate. You may not know that before I became a teacher, I worked in the corporate world for over 15 years. Four times I've been offered a job purely because of my Japanese language skills, and once a trainee position was created for me at American Express, so I could train as a computer programmer to work in the Japanese market. So I've experienced this firsthand. You can use Japanese in a wide variety of jobs and industries, not just travel and teaching or translation, um, but law, business, international relations, politics, fashion, the arts, agriculture, accountancy, trade, science, and of course IT. In many areas of the Australian public service, multilingual employees are paid a financial bonus. On the college website, you can listen to Adam Liao, winner of MasterChef, and Adam Bronowski, an artist and academic, speak about their experiences as Japanese speakers. There are many uh, cognitive and academic benefits of bilingualism that are recognised by government and also employers. Many studies show the benefits of bilingualism, which include having better problem-solving skills, being more perceptive and able to deal with abstract concepts, better at multitasking, being more empathetic and creative. Studies even show that multilingualism may even stave off dementia in later life. You can look at the LLAS website link to see, to see 700 reasons why you should study a language. So why do Japanese beginners? You could uh, get uh, bonus points for entry to universities if you achieve a band 5 or 6. If you look at the ULPA website link, you'll be able to see about these bonus ATAR point schemes for 20 Australian universities, including the universities in Sydney. The course focuses on the four skills of speaking, reading, writing and listening, so you will be able to achieve a good level of proficiency. It's a logically structured course and <coughs> everyone starts on a level playing field because everyone's starting at the same point. Past high achieving students at Caroline Chisholm College have said they enjoyed studying Japanese as it gave them a break from lots of essay writing. Japanese requires a different kind of study pattern and will suit students who can see patterns in language, enjoy learning kanji and a wide variety of vocabulary and grammar. You will also become considered Asia literate as your Japanese language skills will be underpinned by good understanding of Japanese culture. So are you eligible? You are eligible if you have never studied Japanese before or if you have done the, the Japanese course in Year 7. As long as you haven't studied in the Year 9 and 10 elective course, you are eligible for this uh, course. The prescribed topics that we study in Stage 6 have two perspectives. The first perspective is your personal world, where you'll be able to talk about yourself and the world that you live in. So topics include family life, home and neighbourhood, friends, recreation and pastimes, education and work, future plans and aspirations. You also will learn to speak about Japanese speaking communities. So you'll learn to speak about uh, people, places and communities in Japan, as well as holidays, travel and tourism. 
In addition, you'll be offered a position on the uh, 2017 Caroline Chisholm Japan Study Tour, which is a great opportunity for you to le learn more deeply about Japanese culture, visit famous sites in Japan, practice your language skills, enjoy host family experience with our sister school, Tokyo Junshin. You can also host a student from Tokyo Junshin or apply to be an exchange student in Japan. So what will you be able to do at the end of the course? You'll be able to listen to speak, people speak in Japanese and write down what they have said in English. You'll be able to read passages in Japanese and answer questions about the text in English. You'll be able to have a five-minute conversation in Japanese about your life and you'll be able to write approximately 125-word text. If you have any questions about the Japanese Beginners course, please don't hesitate to contact me, Mrs Merriman.